Okay, good morning YouTube. Today I'm doing a video on my 1999 Harley-Davidson Road King from M the MM EFI 2 from the Kumi Carburetor. I also put on a single point uh, ignition through Thunderheart. There's a couple videos on this, but I don't think any of the ones I saw gave all the information that I needed uh, to do the conversion. So, to start off, one of the videos that I watched, the uh, person doing the conversion said you needed to change the throttle cables, which you do not. The original stock throttle cables were. All they needed, all you need to do is just adjust them for the Mikumi. It wasn't an issue at all. It took me maybe 10 minutes to do. Um, another video talked about the gas tank and the needing to put on a different gas tank, which is not true. All you need to do is remove the gas tank, which isn't that hard, and then you're going to put in a ping uh, Let's see if I get it. There it is right there. Uh, a ping valve that has the uh, strainer in it. And when you order the kit on Amazon, it'll come with both the pingle uh, fuel valve, and it will also have the plug for the other line that comes out of the tank. Uh, additionally, inside the tank, uh, there's some extra hardware you need to take out. Where the pingle goes, you're gonna need to drill that. Um, I'm not sure what size of drill it is. Basically, you just have to drill it out enough so that the pingle filter, the strainer, will fit up inside the tank. Um, that was probably the most difficult thing to do. After I did it, I uh, rinsed the tank out with uh, some gasoline to make sure all the all the pieces were out. Then I went through it with a, a magnet to make sure I got all the shavings out. Uh, so that wasn't that difficult. The old harness for the computer I left on, I just tucked it under the seat, which wasn't, again, wasn't that difficult. Okay, the Thunderheart single point ignition. This is where I put it. There's some holes that are already drilled. I just had to find the correct size bolts to go in. And it, as you can see, I pretty much left all the wiring in place. Um, you're going to need to tap off of your crankshaft sensor. Uh, I actually put a new crankshaft sensor on because my bike wasn't running with the old ignition system and EFI connected. So I bought a new one. I think it was $59. I got it from... Oh, I want to say uh, either JP or well, I have right up here I can just show it in the video. All right, so uh, Dennis Kirk, who I got it through, and you can see let's see the tank fitting kit. There's a part number. It was 53. The fuel valve from Pingle was 116. Uh, the Thunderheart ignition was 297, and the crank sensor was 52. So there it is. Hopefully you guys can see that and get some part numbers off of it. And that was my cost for that. The Makumi carburetor kit came with everything I needed. And I believe that was $4.88 and that was on Amazon. So again, you'll need to, I, I went straight off of the uh, crank sensor. I just brought it back here to where the ignition unit is. You're going to need to find a positive and the positive needs to be when you flip your um, cutoff switch on the handlebar. Remember, you don't want to take it from the uh, on off, this one right here, because that means your switch up here will not work to shut off the motorcycle, which it needs to. So that's one big thing. I actually wired it wrong first and uh, realized, yes, I had to wire it up to this guy. Now, I found the wire I found was in this, in this wire loom right here. That was existing from the old computer setup so all everything else for the computer all the everything else i stuffed under the seat here which wasn't very difficult at all um i'm just trying to think what else so when i had everything hooked up and was ready to start the bike i did not install the tank fully i just put all the electric on it and actually just bottle fed the carburetor to start it and it started right up everything was pretty much perfect um 
I pulled the choke out and started probably first or second crank. Uh, here are the adjustments right here for the Thunder Heart. As you can see, it's on zero. Uh, I didn't have to adjust it at all. I hooked everything up to my computer and maybe later I might take it to a, a shop to put on the dyno and actually tune it properly, but it runs fine, no issues. I get some backfire through the carburetor when I decel, but I think all carburetor Harleys are like that. Um, let me show you over here. You're gonna also need a new mount. Right, right there you can see where the choke is. The old mount does not have that uh, attachment for the choke. I got this one, chrome, brand new, off of, I believe, either Amazon or JP Cycles. It was like $15. So uh, don't go out to junk air or buy one off Craigslist. People are trying to sell these things for like 50 bucks. The old, you know, one that goes on the bike and, and was painted black. You can get a new chrome one for like 16 bucks. This is the only kind of funky thing I, I wasn't sure about. I ended up connecting the vent breathers to the new air cleaner. And I came with the carburetor kit. They, they're on there, they're doing their job. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them on there. The, the purpose is really an emissions purpose. I don't plan on uh, having an emissions done on this where I live. So I'll just put it on there to see if it ran any different. I've been running it without it for probably the past week and a half. So I threw, I threw the, uh, the tubes on there to connect it. Right now I don't have the cover on there, but you can see. And the nice thing about this Makuni see right here this is the idle adjust so while you're sitting at the stop you know stoplight you can literally adjust your idle right there you know if, if you notice it's too high or too low I just went with uh, hooking into the computer and then it would tell me what my idle was and then I went off of the the manual uh, the shop manual for Harley Davidson and said it I want to say I said it's a maybe 900 rpm and then I probably played around with it a little bit within that range 900 to probably 1050. Now one thing I want to address, I've seen a couple videos and I've seen a couple of uh, uh, posts on the internet to where somebody that did this, they took the wiring harness and either modified it or took it off and put a new one. You don't need to do that. Um, I, I left everything hooked up on the wiring harness the way it was unless it was something I needed to tap into. This way everything else that has anything to do with the computer and the motorcycle are still uh, relevant. So everything else works. I get my oil light, everything. And the, the biggest fear is if you take that entire uh, wire loom off and the computer off, I'm not sure, I'm not an expert on Harleys, but I was afraid that I would lose something in there. So my advice is just disconnect what you don't need and then put everything under the seat and leave the computer there. Also, when you sell it, you still have everything there. So, okay, something else I need to mention of course you're going to have a different coil so that's very easy to access once the tanks off but make sure you get everything done that you need to right under the tank uh, before you put it on because it is not easy oh one thing I did find that I forgot to do before I put the tank on on the back of the Makuni carburetor is a vacuum line not sure where it goes I ended up capping it off but if you don't remember to cap that off the bike will not run and if it does run, it'll run terrible. But that was my first issue when I started it up. I forgot to put uh, that vacuum line cap on there. So I would I would order you know a set of caps, uh, plastic caps for uh, vacuum lines on Amazon. You know, at the same time you order everything else. Uh, the other thing was inside the tank, you're going to need to. I don't know if you have to. I did just to make more room. Uh, remove the. Uh, fuel pump and strainer because you're not going to need it anymore. Everything's going to grab and feed into the uh, pingo pet top. So that's pretty much it. If uh, I missed anything, or if you have any questions, uh, you can put it in the comments below and I'll, I'll check back and try to answer it. Again, I'm trying to give you some fairly detailed. I was going to do this before I finished, but everybody knows how that goes. You, you get in a groove putting stuff together and you forget everything else but getting done so I'll do one more walk around and make sure you guys saw the order again there's everything you should need just some paperwork I had with it there's 
the Makuni manual, the Pingle. See if I can get a. Remember the the peccock when you put it on, on the on position needs to be forward, right? And this is kind of weird. Um, I don't know how this is going to change my tank reserve, but I'm pretty sure this is off. On is in the middle, and I want to say the reserve is in the back. I don't, I haven't tried it, don't know how it works yet. I know when I put it on, I tested the fuel flow, and the middle portion got the most gas. The back side, towards the back of the bike, it got less fuel, which I'm, so I'm assuming that's the reserve. And then forward, of course, is off. And for you guys with fuel injection like me, you gotta remember, turn that on. I've started it and wrote it and it's died on me one or two times now and thinking something else is wrong. Thanks for watching the video.